I'll be sharing with us today a passage of the scriptures from Revelation 20. Then I saw a great white throne, <clears throat> and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. This passage I just read indicates the existence of two different kinds of books. One, it calls books, and another, it called the book of life. What's the difference? The difference is that those whose names are found in the book of life, when they are judged at the end of this world, when everything comes to an end, as it would one day, they, their works, their merit will not be considered. Because when they were alive, they agreed, they believed that what Jesus Christ did on the cross was sufficient merit for God to forgive them. So they received God's forgiveness at the expense of the works that Jesus Christ did. So they will never be judged on the merit of their works. And so the Bible says that their names are in the book of life. Then the second book is called books. And from what we read, the dead who are not in Christ will be judged according to their works recorded in their own books. So whatever is written in their own book of merit will be the basis upon which the holy, infinitely just God will judge them by. I don't think they have a chance on that day. There is absolutely no chance to make it that day when God judges a man according to his works. You know it. A, 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 a sensor of our own daily lives will show us that if we are judged according to how we behave, we have no chance. According to the things we think, how we think, we have no chance. According to the things we say, we have no chance. But that is what these people who will be judged from their own books, I call it the book of personal merit, that's what they are going to be judged by. And it's going to be a fearful judgment. But you know what? Nobody needs to wait for that day. God does not desire that any person waits until that day because now there is salvation. This is the time that you can, you and I can be saved by simply calling on the name of Jesus. How simple that can be. That's how God made salvation. He didn't make salvation a thing that we can work for because we can never achieve it. But his son, without sin, died on the cross that you and I, believing, will have our names written in heaven's book, the book of life of the Son of God. And when that happens, we're delivered from judgment and condemnation 
But if we fail to do that now, it's hard to say. The morning will come when each person will give account of how he walked here from the book of his record. You can give your life to Christ now by simply calling on his name. And if you do, you'll be saved. And this is the truth about salvation.